Consult a physician before performing this or any exercise program. This is especially important for people with medical conditions like high blood pressure, heart disease, and diabetes. It is your responsibility to evaluate your own medical and physical condition and to determine whether to perform or adapt any of the exercises in this program. If you have symptoms like weakness, lightheadedness or dizziness, chest pain or pressure, nausea or shortness of breath, stop and consult your healthcare provider. Hi everyone, I'm Shana Mayleaf. Welcome to Eyes Free Fitness, Sculpting with Weights Level 2. For this exercise workout, you'll need a sturdy chair, one or two sets of weights, and a mat or a padded or carpeted area to do the floor exercises on. Make sure you have clear space around your chair, both sides and front and in back. And are you ready to get working? You're gonna be familiar with many of these exercises from the level one workout. We can march in place and get warmed up. This time we're gonna be multitasking by combining many of the upper body exercises and lower body exercises together. This will increase the intensity by making bigger movements and involving multiple muscle groups in one exercise. Keep marching. Remember to adjust the weights so that these exercises are challenging for you. Pump your arms at your sides. Take some deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. On your next inhale, bring your arms up to the sky. Exhale, release them down. One more time, inhale up. Exhale, lower down. Roll your shoulders up and around. Three more, two more, and one. Good, take the march a little bit higher. Either a really high march or a little jog. Let's get the body warm. Just 30 seconds here, getting the blood flowing, getting your muscles ready to do the work. Remember to challenge yourself throughout the workout. Get outside of your comfort zone to get stronger. Keep moving, pump those arms, jogging or marching big. Yes, just 10 seconds left here. Then we're gonna go into some side squats to really warm up the legs. In four, three, two, good. Legs together, step your right out to the side and sit into a squat. Come back up to stand. Left leg steps out to the left, go into a squat, come up and together. Right leg out and squat, up together. Left leg out and squat, up together. Squat, come together. Squat, come together. Squat, and up. Down, and up. Good, sink low into it. Warm up your legs. Keep going. Down and up. Four, three, two, one. Let's do some jumping jacks. Out and in, out and in, out and in. Good. Take your level here, but if you can do the full jumping jack, let's do it. Getting nice and warm. Getting your body temperature up. Ready to take on the day. Breathe. Out and in, make sure to get those arms up nice and big over your head and down. Eight, six, yes, four, three, two, and one. Good, straight leg raises out in front of you. So right leg raises straight up and down, left up and down, right up and down. Reach your arm to your opposite leg. Reach and down, lift that leg up and down. Feel that stretch in the back of your leg or your hamstring. Lift up and down. Good, keep lifting and reaching. Up and down, up and down. Good, four more. Three, two, and one. March in place. March, march. Last few seconds of warm up and then we're moving into the first exercises. Yes, breathe, pump those arms at your side. Getting ready to get nice and strong today. Eight, six, march it out. Four, three, two, one, good. The first exercise is a squat with overhead shoulder press. Grab two weights, you can use medium or heavy to start with. Feet are shoulder width apart, arms are bent, your hands are right by your shoulders. You're gonna squat back and up, squat down and up, sit back, and up, down, adding the arm. Down, press arms straight up over your head. And up, down, and up. 
down and up. So elbows come down, arms press up. Elbows down, press up. Sit low, stand up. Yes, lots of stuff going on here. Down and up. Inhale, exhale. If you can remember to also squeeze your glutes at the top, you'll get some butt work in here. Down and up. Yes. Can we get four more? Four. Three. Two. And one. Press up. Good. Moving on to a right leg abduction with left arm side raise. Come behind your chair and hold one weight in your left hand. You're gonna shift all of your weight to your left foot and flex your right foot, lifting that right leg out to the side and down. Out and down. Up, good. Squeeze the outer thigh, then lift the left arm up and down. Up to shoulder height and down. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. So your left arm is lifting up as your right leg is coming out to the side. Engage your core, up and down. Good, breathe through it. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Are you feeling it? Good, you gotta do a few more. Up and down, up and down. Last two, and one, good. We're gonna do the same exercise on the other side. So just shift your weight into the right leg, shift your weight into your right hand, left leg flexes, and lift it up and down. Up and down, up and down. Adding that right arm coming out to the side, up to shoulder height and down. Lift, lower, lift, lower. You should be feeling this in your shoulder and your outer thigh or abductor. Take your time, elbows slightly bent. Breathe. Exhale, inhale, yes, just like that. Perfect, the whole body's working. You got it. Go up and down, up and down. Hold on to it just a few more. Four, three, two, and one. Good. You're now gonna come into sumo squats with tricep overhead extension. So holding two weights in your hands, standing behind the chair, legs come wide with toes slightly turned out. Hold one weight in each hand and extend your arms straight up over your head. Now bend your elbows so that your hands come down towards your back. Keep your hands there. Let's do some squats. Down and up. Down and up. Good. Chest open. Down and up. Now we're going to add in the arms. You go down, straighten your arms up. Bend them down, straighten up. Down and up. Good. So when you bend your arms, your hands lower towards your back. When you straighten your arms, your hands come up to the ceiling. Nice. Inhale, exhale. Sink into that squat. Yes, looking good. Breathe, squeeze. Perfect. Can we get four, three, two, and one? Good. Moving on to a right leg adduction with left bicep curl. Standing behind your chair, you're just gonna turn your body to the left so that your hand is resting, your right hand rests on the back of the chair. Hold one weight in your left hand. Put all of your weight in your left leg. Right leg comes up in front of you off the floor. Flex your foot and turn your toes out to the right side. Leg first, lift it up and down. So you're hitting that inner thigh. Lift up and down, exhale, inhale. Bicep curl, up and down. Up and down. So you're bending at the elbow, hand comes up to your shoulder. Squeeze and lower. Squeeze and lower. Exhale, inhale. Yes. Perfect. Inner thigh squeezing, bicep working. Up and down. Up and down. Last three, two, and one. Good. Release and just turn to the opposite side. So your left hand is resting on the chair and your weight is in your right hand. Shifting your weight onto your right leg, left foot comes in front of you, foot flexed, left foot turns out, toes to the left, lift it up, up and down, left inner thigh working, lift up and down, add the bicep curl, curl and down, curl and down. 
remember, bending the elbow so your hand comes up to your shoulder. Squeeze. Engage your core. Up and down. Exhale, inhale. Breathe. Up. Yes, you should feel the work. Upper body, lower body, everything at once. Just a few more. The last three, two, and one. Good, that was the first set. March in place. Take a breath, release. Just a few more seconds marching here and breathe. We're gonna run through all of those exercises one more time. Let's start with the squat with overhead shoulder press. Bring your feet about shoulder width apart and grab your heavy weights. Your hands are right by your shoulders. You're gonna squat back and up, down and up, low and up. We're gonna add the arms, down, press them up, down, press to the ceiling, down and up. Inhale, exhale, yes. Sit low, squeeze your glutes, down and up, yes. Keep going, you got this. Last three, press, down, press. One more and up, good. We're gonna move on to a right leg abduction with left arm side raise. So you're gonna stand behind the chair. You can rest your hand if you want on the top of the chair with your right hand. The weight is in your left hand. You're shifting all of your body weight into your left leg. Lift your right leg off of the floor, flex your right foot, and lift the leg out and in. Out and in, straight out to the side, and out. Adding the left arm up and down, up and down. So the left arm lifts up to shoulder height and down, lift. It's a raise. So your right outer thigh is squeezing as your left arm is lifting up and down, up and down. Exhale, inhale, yes. We've got two and one. Perfect. Moving right on to the other side. Just shift your weight into your right leg and shift your weight into your right hand. You can rest your left hand on the top of the chair if you'd like for added balance. Lift your left foot up off of the floor and flex your right foot. That left leg comes out and in. Out and in. Yes. Ready to add that right arm raise? Lift and lower, lift and lower, up, yes. Remember, don't go above shoulder height. Just lift that arm straight out to the side and down. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Squeeze the outer thigh. Two more, up and down, nice. All right, we're moving on to a sumo squat with tricep overhead extension. So you're gonna grab two medium or heavy weights, whatever you choose for triceps. Stand in a wide squat. So legs come wide, toes face a little bit out to the side, holding your weights in your hands, and then extend your arms straight up so your arms are right by your ears. Then bend your elbows so your hands rest right by your back. Starting with the squat, let's sit down and up down and up. Really sink into the squat. We're gonna add the arms so we come down, arms extend up, bend, extend, down and up, down and up. Remember, bend the arms so your hands come to your back and then extend them so your hands come all the way up to the ceiling, full range of motion. Yes, sink low into that squat, almost there. Three, two, and one, good. All right, last two exercises on this series. We're gonna go with a right leg adduction with left bicep curl. Put your weight in your left hand, turn your body weight to the left side, so you can rest your right hand on the top of the chair if you choose. Engage your core, shift your body weight onto your left leg, bring your right foot in front of your body, flex your feet and turn your toes out to the right side. Now lift that right leg up, and down, straight in front of your body. Squeeze the inner thigh, up and down. Add the bicep curl, squeeze, curl, curl. Yes, remember to bend the elbow and bring that hand all the way up to the shoulder and then lower that arm all the way down. Full range of motion. 
Squeeze the inner thigh. Last three, two, and one. Good, we're moving right on to the other side. So you're gonna shift your body weight, turn it all the way to the right so you can rest your left hand on top of the chair. Bring the weight into your right hand and bring your body weight into your right leg. Bring your left foot in front of your body, flex your left foot and turn your toes out to the left side. Now lift, right in front of you, lift that leg. And down, lift. Adding the bicep curl, let's go. Squeeze and down. Curl and lower, lift and lower, yes. Engage your core and breathe. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, yes. Inner thigh, biceps, keep them both working. Last three, two, and one. Good, nice job, and release. Okay, we're gonna be moving on to the floor exercises now. So take a moment, bring yourself down to the floor, bring your weights with you, and come onto your hands and knees. Take a couple deep breaths. Set yourself up so you have a neutral spine, which means your belly isn't sagging down and it's not rounded out. Your core is engaged and your head and neck are in line with your spine. Remember this posture whenever I say neutral spine. You're gonna hold your medium weight in your right hand, digging your left palm into the floor. You're gonna extend your left leg back so your leg is straight back behind you and flex your left foot so your toes are down to the floor. Let's start with the leg raise. Lift up and down. So you're squeezing your left glute. Lift up and down. And we're gonna add the arm so the right arm comes straight out to the side about shoulder height. Out and in, out and in, good. So your right arm is doing a back fly while your left leg is doing a raise. Yes, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Squeeze that right upper back shoulder blade area. Squeeze, nice. Last few, up and down, two and one. Good job. Now press your right palm into the floor and switch the weight into your left hand. Slide your right leg straight back behind you and flex that right foot, toes down. Lift up and down. Remember, squeeze that right glute. Up and down. Ready to add the back fly? Left arm goes straight out and down. Out and down. Only up to shoulder height. Out and down. Strong core has to hold you in place here. Yes, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. You got it. Everything working, lots of stuff going on. Keep squeezing the glutes. Three, two, and one. Good. Put your weight down, sit back for a little child's pose, which means sitting your butt back onto your heels and reaching your arms straight out in front of you. Yes. Are you ready to move on to the plank? I think so. So if you remember from level one what a plank is, you can get yourself set up. We're not starting quite yet, but you're gonna come either onto your forearms parallel or onto your palms. And you're, remember, your elbows or your wrists are directly below your shoulders. Then your legs, your knees can either be on the floor or you're on the balls of your feet in push-up position. We're going for one minute. Ready, go. Set yourself up well so your body's in a straight line from head to toe. Your head's not hanging down, you're not looking up. Everything's just in one solid straight line. Breathe, inhale, exhale, yes. Don't let those abs sink down, yes. Abs engaged, nice and strong. You can do this, we're halfway through already. Stay with it, yep. Tighten up those quads, tighten up those legs. Push your heels back behind you. If you need to take a little rest, rest for a few seconds, but come back up to finish it out with us. Yes, push your palms all the way into the floor. You're almost there, stay with me. 10, breathe, breathe, hang on to it. Six, five, four, three, two, one, done. Sit back, child's pose, breathe. Excellent job. All right, we're moving on. You're gonna roll onto 
your back. Have your weights close by. So come onto your back, you're laying down. And have your heavy weights, one in each hand. Bend your knees so that your feet are on the floor. Your heels are pressing down. So you're gonna hold your weights, one in each hand. Your arms are out to the sides, bent at right angles. So your hands are facing up towards the ceiling. Let's start with a chest press. So your arms press straight up to the ceiling as they come together over your chest and then the elbows come down to the floor. That's slow motion, let's pick it up. Press and down, press and down. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. We're gonna add the bridge. So as you press your arms up, you're digging through the heels and lifting your hips. Let's go, up and down, lift your hips and lower, up and down, up. Yeah, squeeze your glutes at the top. Exhale, inhale, nice. Last one, up. Keep doing the hip lift, leave your arms down. Relax your upper body, hips up and down. Squeeze and down, all the way up. Dig through your heels and up. Last three, squeeze, yes. Two and one. Good, perfect. Stay right where you are. Bring your hands up behind your head. We're gonna do some crunches. So make sure you leave a space in between your chin and your neck, like there's a little tennis ball there. And we're just gonna lift the shoulder blades up off the floor. Ready? Lift, lower, lift, lower. So just get those shoulder blades up off the floor. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, squeeze. Yes. Don't pull on your neck. Lift. Squeeze the abs. Yep. Up. And up. Let's pulse. It's up. 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 Tiny little squeezes. Yes. Just like that. Let's do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Lower your upper body down. Take a deep breath. And straighten your legs straight up to the ceiling. Flex your feet so that the soles of your shoes are up at the ceiling. Now you're gonna twist, so we're gonna reach right arm to left foot and down. Left arm to right foot and down. Reach your hand to the opposite foot and down. Reach up and down. We're gonna pick it up. It's reach, reach, reach. Reach, so it's like you're climbing a rope. You reach, reach for that opposite toe, even though you might not get there. Lift that shoulder blades up off the floor, twisting, eight, seven, six. Almost there, let's get four more. You got it, three, two, and one. Hug your knees into your chest. Hug them, hug them, breathe. Yes. Do you know what a bicycle is? That's coming up next. All right, here we go. So keep your knees bent in towards your chest, hands behind your head. Let's go slow at first. Extend your right leg out straight and twist your right elbow to your left knee. Now switch, left leg out straight, left elbow to your right knee. And switch, and switch, and switch. And switch, a little bit faster. Switch, 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 switch. Yes, remember to twist through your core and breathe. Twist, twist, looking good, legs straight out. Yes, push your feet to the wall opposite you. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Yes, release. Nice job. We're moving on to side planks, your favorite. So roll onto your side. You can roll onto your right side. And set yourself up so you're on your forearm and your right elbow is directly below your right shoulder. Now you can do this either with both legs extended, your hips are stacked on top of each other and your feet are flexed, 
or for a modified version, you can bend your right leg underneath so the weight is on your right knee. We're going for 30 seconds on each side. So take an inhale, exhale, lift up, 30 seconds. Pressing down through your right palm, right forearm, and either your right knee or your feet. Feet are flexed, legs are strong, lifting your hips. Yes, breathe, keep lifting, keep lifting. 10 seconds. You got it. Stay with it. Last four, three, two, one, and lower down. Just roll onto your opposite side. Set yourself up the same way. You're on your left side, your hips are stacked. Your left elbow is directly below your left shoulder and your left palm is pressing to the floor. If you bent your bottom leg on the first side, do it on this side. Flex your feet, inhale, exhale, lift it up. Yes, everything's strong here from head to toe. Body's in one straight line. Super strong core and obliques here. Yes. Keep lifting your hips. Lift them high. Breathe. Strong legs. You're close. Hang on to it. It's four, three, two, and one. Lower down. Yes, let's roll onto your belly. Last exercise in this set. We're gonna do Supermans. So you're laying on your belly, your arms straight out in front of you and your legs straight out behind you. Make sure you're releasing your neck so you're looking down at the floor in front of you. And we're gonna lift all four extremities up. Ready? Lift them up, hold, three, two, one. Lower down, yes. Up and squeeze, breathe. Feeling it in your lower back, lower down. We're gonna cut it in half for counts of two. Ready? Lift it up and hold, lower down. Lift it up and down. Two more like this. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. One more, then we're going again, double time. Here we go. Up and down, up and down. Lift everything, lower everything. Up and down, it's eight. Seven, yes, lift higher, up, and four, three, two, and one. Good, sit back, take another quick child's pose before we move on to the second set of floor exercises. Just one more round and then we're done. Since you know what the exercises look like, we're gonna move through the descriptions a little more quickly. So come on to hands and knees. Have your weights by you. Come into neutral spine. So first exercise is a right back fly with a left leg raise. So holding your weight in your right hand, your left leg is extended straight behind you with the foot flex, toes down. Arm comes straight out to the side and down as the leg lifts up. 16, out and in, out and in. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Remember to squeeze that right upper back as your arm comes out to the side, up and down. Yes, remember to squeeze that left glute or booty muscle and breathe. Yes, core working too. Almost there, last two. And one, good, just moving right to the other side. Switch the weight into the left hand and slide your right leg back straight behind you. Flex the foot, toes down, let's go. Out and in, out and in, good. Remember that arm comes straight out to shoulder height, no higher, release your neck. Yes, squeeze that left shoulder blade, upper back, and squeeze the right glutes. Come on, up and down, up and down. You got it. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Yes. Guess what's next? Your favorite, the plank. Start to get yourself set up. Take a big inhale. We've got one minute of work. Lift it up, let's go. So remember, either your hands 
or your elbows are directly below your shoulders. You're pressing firmly into the floor and breathing. Release your neck so it's in line with your spine. Yes. Breathe. Squeeze. Abs tight. Don't let those hips sink down. Don't let that butt stick up in the air. You got it. You're strong. Legs tight, legs strong, supporting you. Yes. Imagine you're somewhere far away, somewhere on a beach. This feels good. Stay with it, stay with me. 10 seconds, that's all that's left. Breathe through it. Yes, yes. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. All right, roll over onto your back. Have your heavy weights by you. Roll down onto the floor with your knees bent, about shoulder width apart, and your feet on the floor, heels pressing down. Holding one heavy weight in each hand, your elbows are bent at right angles, so your hands are up towards the ceiling. We're gonna do a chest press with the bridge, so your hips are gonna lift as your hands press towards the ceiling. Here we go. Press and lower, press and lower. Hips lift and lower, lift and lower. Remember, squeeze your glutes at the top. Nice, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, yes. Press those arms all the way up and all the way down. Dig in through your heels as you lift your hips. You got it. Four, three, two, and one. Yes, keep your feet where they are. Hands up behind your head for crunches. You know what to do. Let's go up and down, up and down. Don't pull on your neck. Lead through the core. Up and down. Yes shoulder blades up off the floor up and down lift nice super strong abs up and down exhale inhale let's crunch up up pulse it up 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 yes squeeze 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 in four three body down, take a breath, straighten your legs up to the ceiling, flex your feet, yeah, so you're going to reach your hand to your opposite toe, reach up and down, up and down, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, remember to get that shoulder blade up and across, nice, yes, up and over, up and over. Leg 
strong, feet are flexed. Yes. We're nearing the end of the workout, guys. Stay strong. Finish it out. Keep lifting. Keep pressing your arm or your hand into the floor. In four, three, two, one. Nice. Just roll to your opposite side. Set yourself up the same way you did on the first side. We've got 30 seconds here. Inhale. Exhale. Lift it up. Here we go. Bodies in one straight line, head to toe. Feet flex, strong legs. Don't let those hips come down. Keep them up. Yep. You got it. Every second that passes, you're getting stronger and stronger. All you have is eight seconds. Stick with it. Stay right there. Four, three, two, one. One. Nice job. Come on down onto your belly. Last exercise, and then we get to stretch. So fun. Arms extended out, legs extended out. Looking at the floor. Lift up, lower down. Lift up, lower down. Yes. Exhale up, inhale down. Exhale, lift. up. Lift those arms. Lift those legs. Squeeze your lower back. Up and down. Release your neck. Up and down. Yes. So close. Give me four good ones. Three, two, and one. We're done. Yes. All right. Here's the cool down, what we've been waiting for. It's going to feel so good. Staying on your belly, stay right where you are. Just reach your left arm straight out in front of you. Bend your right knee and bring your heel towards your butt. Reach your right arm behind. If you can, grab for your right ankle and pull it in towards you. Breathe into that stretch, stretching out your quads. And release. Now switch sides, right arm out in front of you, left leg bends and reach behind. Grab that left leg or ankle, pull it in and breathe. Stay there a few more seconds and release. Push your palms into the floor and sit back into child's pose. Sit your butt all the way back onto your heels and stretch your arms out in front of you. Just breathe. Walk your hands over to the left. And walk your hands over to the right. Feel a little stretch in your sides. And back to center. Make your way up into a seated position with your legs extended fully out, straight in front of your body. Flexing your feet so your toes are up towards the ceiling. Inhale, bring your arms all the way up over your head. And then exhale, fold forward. Good, lowering down your nose towards your knees. You can grab onto the back of your legs. Maybe if you're flexible, you can grab onto your toes and just breathe into that stretch. Slowly roll up, and then just cross your legs into a comfortable Indian style. Sitting up tall, bring your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, and open up your chest big. Inhale, exhale. Release and bring your hands in front of your body, interlacing your hands. Turn your palms out away from you, round out your back. Tuck your chin into your chest and feel that rounding of your back. Breathe. And release, sitting up tall. Inhale your arms all the way up over your head. Left hand grabs your right elbow and your right hand rests on your back between your shoulder blades. 
pull that elbow in as you stretch your tricep. Breathe. Inhale, both arms up to the sky. Exhale, right hand grabs that left elbow. Left hand comes in between your shoulder blades. Pull that elbow and breathe. Sitting up tall. And release both arms down to your sides. Your right ear comes to your right shoulder. Come up to center. Left ear to left shoulder. Up to center. One more time, each side. Up center. And opposite side. Up to center. Inhale all the way up to the sky. Exhale, melt it down to the floor. One more. Inhale, thank yourselves for all of that hard work you put in. Hands to prayer position. Release it into your heart. Beautiful work. Thank you for showing up today. We'll see you next time.